Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating a home decor item that goes into a picture frame using these two stamp sets. This one is Crazy Dogs by Tim Holtz and the alphabet stamp is the Whimsy Alphas from W Plus 9. And what's interesting about these stamp sets is they are currently unreleased. They are not available for purchase. I'll get into the details on how I have my hands on these stamp sets in just a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you about the beginning of this card or beginning of this home decor item rather. I started by cutting out some Saunders Waterford watercolor paper. This is cut to five and a half by seven and a half. My finished project is going to be five by seven and I wanted to give myself about half an inch give on either dimension so that I could tape this down to a board and have the color go all the way to the edge. Taken one of the dogs from the stamp set I've stamped that in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And while that stamp is still on my stamp press, I'm going to stamp it a second time onto some masking paper. This is Simon Says Stamp Masking Paper. And I'm doing this because I'm going to be uh, stamping those alphabet stamps all around the dog. And I want to protect the area within the image um, of the dog so that those alphabet uh, stamps look like they're going behind the dog. So I'm placing that mask down onto my project, press that in place, and then I'm going to prep my alphabet stamps. Like I said before, this is the Whimsy Alpha stamp set from W plus nine. So I'm arranging the word Foxy. This dog's name is actually Foxy. I'm making this as a gift to give to my friend Jennifer McGuire. She has a Visla dog. And um, I was actually the one who illustrated the dogs for this stamp set by Tim Holtz. And I specifically included this Visla dog for Jennifer. So I wanted to create this small little gift for her um, that features her dog. So that's why I am stamping Foxy, Foxy, Foxy all over this project. I'm once again using that Onyx Black ink. This ink is waterproof, it's a pigment ink, so it's perfect for stamping on projects where you're going to be adding a water medium on top. In this case, I'm going to be doing some water coloring, and I wanted to make sure that both the dog image and all of these letters wouldn't be bleeding or smearing or smudging when I start water coloring on top. Now I did want to mention that this watercolor paper is quite textured, so I, I knew I wasn't going to get a really solid image on all of these stamps, but I'm totally okay with that. Um, I kind of like the more grungy, distressed look of these letters anyhow. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll be able to clean off all of those stamps and put it back into the stamp packaging. So like I said before, I am going to be doing some watercoloring on top and just to make sure that after I add color that the lines on the dog don't get lost, I'm going to go ahead and use a waterproof black pen to emphasize some of those lines. When I stamped it, because of the rough texture of the watercolor paper, it did kind of have a more sketchy look and I wanted to beef up those lines and make them look a little bit more solid. I've taped my piece down to a hard board using some blue painter's tape. And now I'm going to break out my watercolors. This is my Magello Mission Gold watercolor palette. I'm going to be painting my entire piece using those watercolors. And I'm going to be using uh, two different sizes of watercolor brushes. I'm going to use a size four round brush and a size 10 round brush. So like I said before, these stamps that I've used today are unreleased. And this is kind of a cool project that Simon Says Stamp has pulled together. Uh, my friend Heidi owns Simon Says Stamp and she is an amazing supporter of this industry. She started out as a crafter herself and just loved to stamp and loved to create. And that's how she started her business. Um, it's definitely a labor of love and she knows exactly what crafters want because she is a crafter herself. So it's really amazing. Um, she had this idea of going to different stamp companies and asking if they would help her put together a special box that she's called the Masterpiece Box. And it's basically a showcase of a bunch of different brands of stamps and um, it, it is a higher price point so it is for those of us who are stamp enthusiasts and fanatics and collectors but um, it's just really it's the manifestation of so many collaborations within the industry and showing that um, so many companies work well together and we're friendly and um, it's not 
such a big competition out there that you know we can all work together which I think is just amazing so um, this box has numerous products um, I've got a list right here as I'm doing this voiceover there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 products in this box and all of them have various release dates so I mean if you want to pick up the masterpiece box you could definitely buy the box now and you would have all these amazing products and stamps and dies and um, ink pads things like that um, before everyone else has them or you can definitely wait and buy them as they're released um, all the way until December of this year so um, in particular the crazy dog stamp set from Tim Holtz this is actually one of the first ones that is being released it's um, coming out in late uh, uh, late July um, you can pre-order the t the crazy dogs stamp set right now at simonsystamp.com and if you have already pre-ordered it and then end up buying the masterpiece box as well you can cancel that pre-order because you'll already be getting that crazy dog stamp set so like I said before, Crazy Ducks comes out in late July, and then the Whimsy Alpha from W Plus 9 comes out in December. So this one is definitely a pre-release. You get it months before anyone else, and it's not even so much about, you know, having all the latest things before everyone else. It's more about just celebrating um, this amazing industry that we all love. Um, it's brought so many people together so many of my best friends I wouldn't even know without this amazing industry and I feel lucky that I get to work in it every single day that it's my full-time job and career it's just it's been amazing and so it's a fun way to um, celebrate to celebrate all of the stamp companies and um, really try out some other stamps that maybe some brands you might not even have tried out before so um, you can see the whole list of products over at Simon Says Stamp. I'll have a link at my blog where you can go and see them and um, this is part of a blog hop today so there's actually a chance to win some giveaways at each stop on the hop you have a chance of winning a $25 gift card to Simon Says Stamp so now I'm taking some heart dies. These are the nested heart dies from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to be cutting out a red heart and I'm going to have a paw print in the center of it. So I'm just sizing that paw print. I'm using um, some dies from Paper Smooches for the paw print. I'm using Schoolhouse Red cardstock from Simon Says Stamp to cut out this heart. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some Nina Solar White cardstock to cut out that Paper Smooches paw print. So I'll run that through my Big Shot machine. And then I'm going to leave the pieces of the paw print, with, I'm going to leave them inside the die for a little bit while I work on the heart. I'm now using some Cosmic Shimmer paste. And this is an awesome kind of like embossing paste that has tons of glitter in it. And it's going to be super sparkly and it's going to be really fun on top of this project. Just cut a strip of cardstock to uh, kind of act as my handle while I hold this heart down. And I'm going to just smear on some of this red glitter paste. This is Apple Red Cosmic Glitter Paste, or Cosmic Shimmer Paste, I think it's called. And I'm going to uh, set this aside to dry while I work on the rest of my project. I'm just going to go around those edges and smooth them out. And then I'll use that palette knife to kind of pry it off my handle because I wanted to make sure it didn't stick to the handle and have the glitter dry there because it's it's a pretty uh, strong paste here. So I'll just set that aside to dry. And now I'm going to go back to my project. So it's completely dry now. I've taken off the blue painter's tape and I've trimmed it down to 5 by 7 I let that heart die cut with the glitter paste on it. I let that dry for about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, because I wanted to make sure it was completely dry before I moved on. And you can see how that paste really, um, it dries to more of a clear paste, and then all you see is the really shiny, sparkly glitter. I've adhered the paw print using some foam adhesive. I also use that same foam adhesive to adhere the heart to the watercolor paper. And now I'm using glossy accents from Ranger on the dog's eyes, the um, tag, and also on the paw print. So I place my whole piece into a 5x7 picture frame, and I can stick it in the mail and send it off to my friend Jennifer, who lives far away, but I wanted to send her this gift. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and please check out all the products over in the Masterpiece box. Even if you don't buy it yourself, you'll be able to check out some sneak peeks on products that are coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Thank you.